Hello everyone, I'm Anita Haig and this little sleepy one here is Edie. And we're welcoming you to another instalment of Sydney Theatre Company Virtual. For this edition of STC Virtual, I'm going to be reading a children's story called Amy and Louie by Libby Gleason about two neighbours who play together. This is a book regularly used in STC's school drama program which is run by their incredible education department. So aside from producing great theatre, STC also hires teaching artists, um, who are often actors like myself, uh, to work with primary school teachers. Together we combine children's books with drama activities to set students' imaginations alight in the classroom, using drama to explore stories, kickstart creative learning and improve literacy. This is a program I hope Edie will benefit from one day and I cannot wait to get back into the classroom with STC, but for now, I'd like to share this story with you virtually. Today, I'm going to read Amy and Louie without the pictures because I have my hands full. And I ask you to use your imagination with me. If you want, you could lie down and listen to the story with your eyes closed, or you could draw the story as I tell it. I also encourage you to creep along with me. So here we go. Amy and Louie built towers as high as the sky. They dug holes deep enough to bury bears and they saw magical creatures in clouds. When Amy was in the sand pit and Louie was on the swing, she called to him across the yard with a special word her mum taught her. Cooey, Louie. Louie always came to play. When Louis was in the dressing up corner and Amy was with the Play-Doh, he called to her across the room with the same special word. Cooey, Amy. Amy always came to play. And when they were at home, they called to each other across the fence. Cooey, Louis, Cooey, Amy. One of them would soon come climbing through the gap with secrets to share. But one day, Amy and her family moved a long, long way away to the other side of the world. Louis stopped building towers, digging holes and staring at clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard or the room or the fence. He thought about Amy every day and every night. In the place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or build towers and the clouds held only raindrops. She thought about Louis every night and every day. If I call Amy really loudly, she'll hear me, won't she? Louis asked his mum. His mum shook her head. Amy is too far away, she said. When you are awake in the day, she is asleep at night. If I call Amy really, really loudly, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his dad. His dad shook his head. Amy is half the world away, he said. When she is awake in the day, you are asleep at night. Hmm. If I call Amy with the loudest call anyone could ever, ever do, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his grandma. Maybe his grandma said. You can only try. So Louis spread his arms as wide as he could and threw back his head. Cooey, Amy. His cry rang out across the yard, across the street and past the edge of town. Louis fell back and stared up at the sky where clouds were making strange seahorses with wild, wild dragons. Across the ocean, in a city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke and came sleepily to breakfast. I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Louis and he called me. I hope you enjoyed the story. Maybe you feel inspired to reach out to a friend you haven't seen in a while. Or you could send them a letter or a drawing 
or a cooey. Or maybe you just like to look up at the sky and see shapes in the clouds, just like Amy and Lily. Thanks for watching Sydney Theatre Company Virtual. This is a tough time for the performing arts. If you are in a position to do so, please consider donating to the SDC or any theatre company that you love or the Actors Benevolent Fund. Links are below. Thanks for watching this instalment of STC Virtual. See you soon.